Hello, welcome back. Today we're stitching the bag together. So the ends have all been glued on, as in the last film, and we're now ready to stitch these sides around. It's quite a lot of hand stitching on this one, and you don't need much in the way of tools. It's basically some thread, needles, some snips, some wax for your thread, and something to make your holes. So I'm going to be using number 18 black thread, free cord, Coates Barber, some beeswax, some Saddler's needles, these are size two slash zero harness needles. And you could use an awl. I personally like to use the stitching chisels. So that's what I'll be using. And the first job really is to make the holes and then it's all ready for the traditional saddle stitch, which is a lovely strong stitch. And it's worth making the effort on this one. One could machine this sort of thing up. The saddle stitch is preferable because it's stronger and it's quite relaxing doing it. So to make the stitching holes I'm going to be using one of these little stitching chisels and I've got my little anvil here actually you need something quite hard or solid to hit onto and you need something soft to hit into. Now this is actually just a knife cutting board which I've, I buy these and I cut them up into smaller sections and you can get yourself a nice square edge so you can get straight up against the, the item to be hit through and stitched on. So it's you can buy these boards if you want to. Um, if you don't want to go down the using the chisel route then you can use the more traditional route of your diamond awl and use that. But I find this a lot more accurate and a lot quicker so I think it's quite a good method myself. And the real key thing with this is to make sure that obviously you keep your chisel completely upright otherwise you get rather nasty results. So just going to with these chisels you put the last prong in the last hole so you keep it upright using a plastic mallet and just go along the seam. It's a fairly nice quick way of making well spaced accurate holes and it's best not to do too many holes at one go because the lever will slowly close in make it a bit more difficult. I'm very slightly inclining the chisel towards myself because I know naturally the lever and the shape will tend to put it back. It's just best to check now and again you're getting your holes in about the right sort of place. There you are, that's the holes along one side all done so I can get stitching on that. If you find any holes haven't quite gone through you can just go along with your pointy awl and make sure that they're, they're going the whole way through. Like that. Doesn't take long and it just means when you start to sew you've got nicely defined holes and you're, you know, going, going strong. So here are here all the stitch holes ready nicely in the channel here. So what it means is when these stitches are made, they'll just be below the surface. And so if the front gets knocked, the kit, you know, the actual stitches won't get knocked. Ditto on the base. And it means the bag lasts so much longer. And it looks neater as well. So threading up the needles is very much as I've done in some of my other films. I've actually just waxed this thread first. So this is unwaxed, this thread. Some of the tiger thread I've used comes pre-so waxed. This one um, doesn't, so just need to get some beeswax on it. The idea of the waxing really it's, it does a few things to the thread. It makes it slightly sort of firmer. It waterproofs it and therefore sort of stops it rotting as quickly, which is probably the main reason. It also helps to get it through a bit easier for your stitches. And I find it sort of holds onto your needles better as well. But, um, just give it a few runs through. And that's nicely waxed up. It takes on a sort of like a stiffness. And then popping it through the needles 
So I'm using two needles, but I'm going to do a traditional saddle stitch, which is where the threads sort of overlock on each other. Very nice, strong stitch. And to keep the needle on, I think again, I've done this in some of the other films. I just pierce the thread with the tip of the needle, sort of twist it onto to get it open, just sort of untwist the thread to open it out. Then you can get your needle through and you can then pull back over the eye of the needle, right back, and you've effectively locked that on. And you can see that's a waxed thread because it's stiff and it's holding the two bits of thread together, but that now is a nice secure needle. So yeah, I'm using two needles, so I repeat the process with the other length of thread. Same idea. And the saddle stitching, it's very much as I've done on things like the belt film. So I can't obviously hold this bag in my saddle as clam. So I've just wedged it between my knees. And an important thing to get a nice even stitch is to make sure that you always enter your hole in the same position. So the holes are very slightly sort of diamond shape. So what I'm doing here is I'm entering with my needle coming in from this face, always at the bottom of those holes. So it goes in, I sort of pull it back just to sink it into the corner there. I then come in with my other needle in the top of the hole. And like that, you'll get a consistent sort of stitch quality. Pull it tight between threadings. So again, in on the bottom of that triangular hole, or slightly slotted hole. Other needle from the other side comes in at the top. And you'll just find if you are consistent like that, you'll get a far happier sort of leaning of stitch. The other thing you may notice is that I don't pull the thread the whole way through. So I get the other needle coming through And once it's through, I then pull both threads. And the reason for that is, if I pulled the thread the whole way through and the needle went through the thread, it would become very difficult to sort of dislodge it. Whereas if it's not completely through, you can actually pull the thread backwards or forwards to dislodge it from the other needle point. So I will patiently just sew along, taking my time. Very relaxing, I quite like this. I've just come to the top of the seam here. It's, and I want to make sure that at the top, there's no tendency for the seam to come undone. So I'm going to actually put in additional stitches. But I'm going to then go back on myself again. So I want these top seams to be really strong. You see when you are asked to repair bags, you see the number where they've, they've capped at the top. So I would far rather make sure that it's really strong on top. So I'm now going over for the third time. It gets a bit tight on the holes. It is doable. I did slightly ease these holes to make them a tad bit bigger. Put them nice and tight. I like that. I know this would be strong as I can get it. One could put rivets in the top here, which is what some people do. I think that probably there's enough rivets without having more. I think it could begin to look a different kind of bag with lots of rivets. It would begin to look like a, a pannier bag, which it's not intended to.
Right, that's the top. I will go down again. So for the top, there's actually going to be four layers there, which gives it maximum chance, if anything, of holding. If I can get the needle through, which I can just. <clears throat> I did. I did widen these holes a bit. Otherwise, I don't think I'd have a chance. It's quite difficult seeing black thread against black leather when you're sewing. I've got quite good light in here, but I do need it for this. Right, that's nearly there. I think one more. So I've sewn back and forth, back and forth. This is the last one. So that will then be one of the seams done. So I've still got to do the base and the other side seam on this particular one. Let's just cut that off. Right. So that strip of seam there has been done. So I've still got the base seam and that other side to do. So a couple of things I just like to do to finish off a seam. And again, not essential, but just makes for a slightly higher quality finish. And one of them is to run over with a stitch wheel and just bed all of those stitches down. I say, not essential, but I try every stage to look at how I can increase the quality so it's the best quality you can get. That's actually recessed that down quite nicely. And then the other thing is just a little tap with a hammer. And the tapping with a hammer just sort of closes in a little bit more. There you are, and that looks lovely. I'll probably get that to you closely on camera. I tilt it, hopefully you can see that in the light. So with this stitching, it's recessed. So if that rubs, say, on the side of the carrier, you won't wear the stitching away. It's all nicely sunk in, which means that should last for years and years and years. Well, that sort of stitching done, which is nice. I always quite enjoy stitching, find it relaxing. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I think in the next film, I'll be doing some leveling off of the sides and some polishing. Okay, bye for now.